Jesus literally does not look at you by your sin. Man giving his life for yours. And he looks at you completed. Nowadays, they can't even take a bullet for you. But Christ took it all. Because what he did in the cross for you is ooh, more than enough. You are not just a piece of meat. You are my perfect design. So you are not worthless. You are not invalued. welcome back to bible table talk and it's your daily dose of christ yeah that's gonna be my new intro i'm just super excited to do this video Ugh, the lord has been speaking to me these past few days and i just can't resist to his beautiful voice i'm sorry i've been mia it's just my graduation just passed i'm working on the whole thing with the colleges well you guys know i got accepted to a college liberty university and i can't wait to start this october if you haven't watched that video already you should go watch it how the lord literally changes my career it's a chaos so definitely check out that video but yeah like i said i've just been busy on other things and with the youth ministry it's just a lot and then my classes that I give to the kids every Sunday, that's a lot too. It's just a lot of responsibility. So I've been trying to be active as possible. I'm super excited that you're back. I'm super excited to anyone who comes across this channel. You are welcomed. You are loved. And most importantly, Jesus Christ died for you on the cross. So you are the most precious treasure that God can ever ever have so don't forget about that also follow my instagram i've been posting a lot of content lately and it's good content super good content it makes you think it makes you question your relationship with god it makes you think your whole entire life and you guys know it's summer vacation Woo! more content coming your way i just wanted to get that out of the way out of the way to start the video let's get started on the video okay guys if you saw the title already i'm gonna be talking about my struggle with comparison and it's been a huge a huge huge journey let me tell you that it's been a very very much heavy heavy baggage on me lately and i feel like the lord is working so much in my life these past few months because i've just been feeling so much spiritual warfare the enemy has been feeding me lies about how i am supposed to look a certain way we all know that the enemy feeds us lies and that's something i want to get out there is that the enemy the only thing he is good at is lying and us as human beings we're just so sensitive to things that we feed on those lies we literally consume those lies and we question our whole entire life we should be shameful we should feel guilt and that is not jesus jesus literally does not look at you by your sin he looks at you completed because what he did in the cross for you is ooh, more than enough he already did it it's completed it is finished it is finished john 3 3 16 god loves so much the world that he gave his only begotten son to die for you on the cross Woo! hallelujah Woo! i am fired for god today yeah literally he loves you so much and we're gonna get a little bit more sensitive to the topic we're gonna be a little bit more comfortable to the topic so i'm just speeding up things here to get started on the actual conversation i want to talk about today so my struggle with comparison if you guys haven't seen my videos already of how i share small testimonies and how i came to christ and how i found my identity in christ you guys should watch that i'll link it down below i guess comparison is really huge to me because as a little girl i've always struggled with security like as a young girl i would look at these people and i would see how they were dressed, how they presented themselves, how they talked, the way they acted. And I always wanted to be liked by the cliques in high school, like the popular kids in high school. <laughs> and I always wanted to feel wanted. I've always wanted to feel welcomed. I always wanted to feel valued. I always wanted to be feel worthy of something or be part of something. I never wanted to be a part or set apart from something and it wasn't until i came to christ that i realized that those things don't matter that my worth and my value does not come from what 
everyone outside says or what the world says of how I'm supposed to dress, of how I'm supposed to act, or how am I supposed to present myself. That doesn't matter. G literally, Jesus died for us in a cross. If that's not enough, like, just think about it. A man giving his life for yours. Yours. Not even these men. Nowadays, they can't even take a bullet for you. But Christ took it all. Christ took it all because he loves you. He loves you. He cherishes you. At that time, I would just find my validation on people. I would find my validation on what others thought of me. And it was such a struggle. It was such a baggage. It was such a heavy thing to carry on your back because having the feeling of feeling unwanted, of feeling worthless, of feeling unvalued is the worst feeling a female or a man could ever feel in their entire life. I feel like as humans, we always want to be a part of something. We always want to feel welcome. We always want to feel accepted. We want to feel that we belong somewhere. Oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, brain fart. I literally forgot what I was going to say. I feel like the message of feeling valued and wanted has literally been corrupted. Hollywood, movies, Netflix, and Hulu, and all these huge corporations in the world present feeling wanted and valued into the things that you own or you possess or how you dress or how you look on the outside. LA is such a big place where people are just focused on the outside. There are so many surgeries being performed on these celebrities, on these influencers, on these YouTubers it's to feel pretty, to feel wanted. And that's what Hollywood is literally digging in our brain. That we are not good enough in our own body, that we need to be somebody else in order to be accepted or or to be wanted or to be loved or to be valued when it's not like that. And if we go to biblical context, I'm gonna give you a few verses of who you are in Christ. I'm using my laptop for biblical context because I do not wanna give out something that's not biblical. So if we look at Proverbs 3, 15 through 18, she is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand, and in her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her. Those who hold her fast will be blessed. There's another verse that I love. It's a very, very popular verse. Psalms 139 verse 14. I'm going to read you the New King James Version and it says, I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and that my soul knows very well. The New International Version says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. It's beautiful because right off the box, God is saying that you are not just a piece of me. You are not just a woman. You are not just a man. You are my perfect design. I took so much time to form you, to cherish you, to take care of you. Can you imagine the God of this universe, this beautiful universe in which we live in, designed you, took his time to paint your eyes, to draw those lips, to draw that hair, that bunch of beautiful hair that you have. When I read that verse, it fills me with joy. It fills me with hope. It fills me with the understanding that my value shouldn't be put on this world because it's going to let me down. The Bible clearly states it. Everything in this world is temporary for I everlasting. God is everlasting. Jesus is everlasting his plans for you are not to harm us but to do us well the enemy makes this world so glamorous i'll tell you that he makes a good job of making this world glamorous okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna do a comparison right now <laughs> it's kind of like a scientific comparison i i love animals i love reading about animals i love watching videos about animals okay i'm pretty sure you guys know that the most beautiful animals that have beautiful colors, beautiful patterns on them are the most poisonous. The devil is not going to give you something that's so ugly, that looks 
so rusty, rotten, or anything like that. He's going to give you something so beautiful, and he's going to hand it out to you. And you see it just like an animal when it's beautiful. It's beautiful colors and patterns, but you know it's poisonous. But you can't just help but stare at it and, you know, give it a little rub or get close to it. Take a picture. And boom, bites you. And you're dying. And you're dead. I'm alive, but I'm dead. <laughs> the same thing with sin. It's so glamorized. It's put on a silver platter for you to take it. You take a bite. Then constantly you want more. Then constantly you want more. Then constantly you want more. But those things are not going to fulfill you. Those things do not fulfill you. You constantly need more. Constantly crave more. You constantly search more. And until you're out of that, you're done. You have so much baggage, so much heaviness on your back that you can't take no more. But following Jesus literally fulfills every aspect of your life. Your life at school. Your personal life. Your life at home your life with your friends your life with your mom and dad jesus fulfills all those boxes he checks all those boxes on your list and you feel so amazing you feel so worthy you feel so beautiful because you matter you matter so much that jesus bled so much blood for you every drop every ounce of blood he did it for you because you were so important to god that he couldn't let you go. He didn't want you to lose yourself in a world full of misery. He didn't want you to lose yourself in confusion and drugs and lust and temptation. He wanted to find a way so you could connect with him again, so you can have that relationship that was once broken in the Garden of Eden when Adam and Eve. He didn't let you go. He didn't want to let you go. He wanted you with him. Have a life with him. That's why he did it all. That's why he did what he did. That's why he sent his son. Being human so he can feel each pain that we feel in the world. Jesus was tempted too. Jesus was tested too. Jesus went through it all. That's why God did it. Because you matter so much. So you are not worthless. You are not unvalued. You are the most beautiful creation that God has made. So stop feeding the lies of the enemy. If you feed to one lie of the enemy, you're going to feed to all his lies. It's going to increase and increase and increase until you have those thoughts of, I'm not worthy. How can God love me? I've done so much. God loves you. God, Jesus is with open arms every time you fail, every time you fall, every time you don't read your word, every time you forget to pray. God is not mad at you. God is with open arms. Let him in and I promise you, he will change your life. That's literally all I wanted to say in this video. And it's just a little bit a part of my struggles that I wanted to share with you. But please remember, everyone goes through things. Everyone encounters so many things. And just because they look glamoured on the outside does not mean that they're glamoured in the inside. Does not mean that our life is put together. Because trust me, I'm still a mess. But I grow each day in Christ. But one thing I can tell you is that when I fall, Christ has showed me that I have to get up. Because I am worth of all. I was so worth it all. You were so worth it all. I will keep repeating it. That God sent his only begotten son on the cross to die for you. If God didn't care about you. If you didn't have that much worth in you. Value in you. The devil wouldn't be after us. But why? Because he knows. He knows the value that God has put in us. Since the beginning of time. Since the beginning that you were inside your mother's womb. He knows the value. He knows the gifts. And that's something he doesn't want you to know. Or discover for yourself because he knows that if you know who you are in christ boom hell is shaking so <laughs> don't feed lies of the enemy that is it for today guys i just wanted to share a little part of my journey with christ recently that is my message for today i really hope you caught something out of this i really hope you learned something new today i really hope this message got to you deeply into your heart, into your mind, and into your life. Also, feel free to write these verses down anywhere in your room, on the mirror, to remind yourself that you are beautifully, wonderfully made. That the painter of this universe made you. So please remind yourself you are beautiful, you're wanted, you're valued. Woo, 
You're a son and daughter of the king. Ooh, I am so pumped up. It's still here. They're still here. There's three more books that I have. I'll put all the directions to enter the giveaway in the description box below. And thank you for tuning in to A Daily Dose of Christ. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I love you guys so much. Bye.